Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you skip a test NG test from execution? Let me answer. In order to skip a test NG test from execution, we have to disable it. For disabling a test from execution, we have an attribute known as enabled. Okay, to that we have to pass the value as false. So once you set this enabled is equal to false to any test ng test method beside this at the rate test annotation, it will get disabled and it will not run. Automatically, it's nothing but it got skipped from execution. Okay, if you have multiple tests in a class and if you disable one of the tests by mentioning this enabled is equal to false, that test is not going to run and it's going to get skipped. Okay, let me practically demonstrate that for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE. Here, there is a test ng project. That is, there's a project, Maven project, which is configured with test ng library. And uh, in that, I created one class, demo class. In that, I created two test methods, okay? Just to save time. The first method is sample test one, okay? Sam if it gets executed, I'll just print sample test one got executed. And the other one is sample test two. If it gets uh, executed, I'll say, I'll just print sample test two got executed, will be printed, okay? So without adding any attribute here to disable or skip a test from execution, so I'll simply right click somewhere on the file and say run as test ng test. Both the tests will run. This both print statements will be printed in the output because you see two tests got run and uh, sample test one got executed, sample test two got executed, got printed. That means two tests got executed. You see here also it's clear, very clear that two tests got executed. Okay. What if I want to skip a test from execution? That means I want to disable a test from running or skip a test from execution. It should not run. That means simple terms, it should not run. In that case, I'll simply say enabled is equal to false. For one of the tests, that is second test, sample test two, I'm just mentioning enabled is equal to false. That means by default, if you don't mention enabled is equal to false, it is enabled is equal to true by default, okay? But if you specifically mention enabled is equal to false for one of the tests, this will get skipped from execution. That means it gets disabled. Now run this, only one test will run. Other test is not going to run. First test only will run now, okay? You see, only one test got run. Sample test one got executed. And the other test has not run, okay? It got skipped from execution. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.